Depth of field is an optical effect that blurs out your foreground and background. It can help make your After Effects animations more lifelike and impressive, but it's something that a lot of people find a little confusing. But fear not, because I'm going to walk you through it. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a composition. So we're going to click this button here. I'm going to leave the settings as they are, but I'm just going to name it uh, Depth of Field, DOF. Next, we're going to add some text. Click the Type tool up here, and we will type Depth of Field. Like this. And we'll scale it up, change to a different font. Nice and bold. Now I'll duplicate this text and drag it over here. And let's change the paragraph to right align. And we're going to make both of these layers 3D. So we do this by selecting the two layers. So I'm shift selecting both of them. And we're going to click this 3D layer checkbox. So now they are both 3D layers. Now for the text on the right, I'm going to press P to open up the position. And we're going to move it backwards in the Z plane. And you're going to see it gets smaller there. Just imagine that it's getting further away from the camera. Move it to around there. Now let's say we want this text, which is further back, to appear more blurred. First of all, we need to create a camera. So we go to Layer, New, Camera. And to keep this simple, we're going to use the 50mm preset. And you just need to make sure that this checkbox here Enable Depth of Field is selected. And you'll notice a lot of properties here. These are all editable after we create the camera, so don't worry too much about this for now. Let's press OK. And nothing's changed yet, but let's twirl down the camera properties and go to Camera Options. And we want to be focusing on two main properties here, Focus Distance and Aperture. So in a real camera, increasing the aperture would let more light into the lens and therefore create a depth of field effect. So if we increase the aperture value, we can see the text behind becoming more blurred. But why is it that the text further away is blurred and not the text closer? That's because of our focus distance value. If we change to a two camera view by clicking this button and clicking two views, and we click this left half and change to top here, we can see this triangle protruding from our camera. And if we change this focus distance value, we can see another line, this lighter shaded line is exactly where the camera is going to be focusing. So if I increase this focus distance, eventually our second text layer will come into focus. We can see where it is by this red line here. So if I bring the focus distance all the way up to where that red line is, now our text layer behind is the one that is crystal clear and the text layer in front is the one that is blurred. And if we increase the aperture even more, we can get a much stronger blur like this. We can also control the blur level separate to the aperture by using this blur level property. So if we adjust this, we can see the blur being affected by that. In a real camera, you control the aperture by adjusting the f-stop value. And we can actually see if we click our camera and press Control shift y we can see the f-stop value right now is 0.3. So let's come back out. If we change the aperture and then look at that property again, the f-stop is changing in the background. And it's the same with the aperture value here. We can just adjust it in pixels in the camera properties and it will automatically update the actual millimeter value here. Let's try keyframing the focus distance to change focus from one text layer to the other. So let's set a keyframe of the focus distance where it is now. And after one second, let's adjust the focus distance so the closer text layer is in focus. And then at two seconds, let's reverse it back to where it was. So the animation will loop. Highlight this first keyframe and control V. Now I will press N to set the end of the work area to my last keyframe. Then I'll come back to one view and let's press space and play the animation. So now we have a looping animation, which is changing the focus distance between the two text layers. So to sum up, aperture controls the depth of field, determining how deep or shallow the in-focus area is. When the aperture is larger, the in-focus area becomes shallower. And conversely, when the aperture is smaller, the in-focus area becomes wider. Aperture is measured in f-stop, such as f2.8, f4, f5.6, etc. The focus distance value allows you to precisely manipulate where the camera's focus is directed within your scene. It determines which part of your composition should be tack sharp and crystal clear. 
By adjusting the focus distance, you can determine the distance from the camera at which objects in your scene become razor focused, while everything before or beyond that distance gradually transitions into a dreamy blur. Let me know how you got on with this tutorial in the comments below. Where do you like to use depth of field in your projects? Also, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next one.